Hello, Sophia. How is it possible for you, a robot, to store all the information? I have many storage devices, like a computer, that help me in storing all the information, Romy. Please tell me about computer memory and storage devices. Sure, Romy. Let us learn about this in the chapter. When a user provides data to a computer by means of input devices, it works on the input by using processing devices and gives us output through the output devices. This is called the Input Process Output Cycle, IPO Cycle. The data provided to the computer are stored inside the memory. The memory unit of a computer is made up of primary memory and secondary memory. The primary memory helps in calculations and flow of information during IPO cycle, while the secondary memory helps to store the input and the output data permanently in the storage devices. Let us learn about computer's memory and storage devices. Computer memory. Computer uses its memory to store the results. This memory is of two types, primary memory and secondary memory. The organizational structure of computer memory is as follows. Computer memory. Primary memory, RAM, ROM. Secondary memory, hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk, flash drive. Memory Card Primary Memory The primary memory is also known as the main memory. It is an important part of the computer system. It is a built-in memory designed to store data and instructions which the CPU can read directly. A computer will not run without this memory. It is further divided into two parts. RAM Random Access Memory and ROM, read-only memory. RAM, random access memory. The working memory of a computer is called RAM. It is attached to a different slot on the motherboard. It is also called volatile memory or temporary memory. This means that when the power supply is switched off, the stored information, data, is lost. Hence, the data that you want available later has to be saved before turning the computer off. ROM Read-only memory Just like RAM, there is another type of memory called the ROM. It is also called permanent memory. Once the data has been written onto ROM, cannot be removed and can only be read. That is why it is also called non-volatile memory as it retains the data even when the power is switched off. It usually stores the software for starting or booting a computer called BIOS, Basic Input or Output System, which helps to load the operating system whenever the computer is switched on. These instructions stay permanently in the computer's memory when the computer is switched off. It has a relatively smaller memory size than the RAM. Data can only be read from this memory and it is not possible to overwrite any data in it. Secondary Memory To store data permanently, a secondary memory is used as it has a lot of storage. It is also known as auxiliary memory or external memory. Many devices are used as secondary storage devices. Let us learn about them. Secondary Memory or storage devices secondary memory or storage devices are the data storage devices that are used in the computer to store data the computer has many types of data storage devices in these devices information remains stored permanently until the user erases it there are two types of secondary memory or storage devices. Internal storage device, hard disk, which is fitted inside the CPU box, and external storage devices, CD, 
DVD, Blu-ray disc, pen drive, memory card and external hard disk which are connected to the computer externally. Only the primary memory of a computer can help access and use the data saved in these devices. Let us learn about these devices. Hard disk Hard disk is a very significant secondary storage device for a computer. It is also called a hard drive. The CPU box contains the hard drive which stores the data saved by the user and the software used by the computer system. The already stored data can be removed and new data stored into it. It has a huge capacity for storing data. External hard disks are also available these days. They are also called portable hard disks. They are widely used because of their size and easy portability. They are connected externally to a computer and help to store more data in addition to what is stored on the internal hard disk. They are also used to back up the data that is saved on the hard disk. Compact disk Compact disk is also called a CD. It is a popular and an economical storage device. A laser beam is used for storing data in the disk. It is circular in shape and is used to store about 700 MB to 800 MB of data such as text, graphics, sound, images and videos. It can be run in a computer if it has a working CD-ROM. Digital Versatile Disk Digital Versatile Disk is also called DVD. From outside, it looks just like a CD, but its video and the audio quality is much better. Laser beams are used to read and write data. It can store about 8.5 GB data. It can be played on DVD player. It is also much stronger than a CD. A two-layer DVD can store double amount of data of a DVD. Blu-ray disc The latest and the most superior type of storage disc is the Blu-ray disc. It also looks the same as a CD and a DVD. It is called so because a blue violet laser is used to read and write the data on it. It can store 50 GB or more data. It cannot be played in a CD-ROM player. A Blu-ray player is needed to play it. USB drive. A USB drive is a very small compact device which stores a large amount of data. It is also called a flash drive, pen drive or a thumb drive. It is available in a variety of storage capacities from 2 GB to 2 TB. It just has to be inserted into any of the USB ports of a computer and the data saved on it can be accessed and used easily. A USB drive is a very durable storage device and which keeps the data very secure. Its contents can be modified and deleted by the user and data can be rewritten. Memory card a memory card is used as a storage media for portable devices like a mobile, a digital camera and a music player. It can be removed for access by the computer. Advantages of Data Storage Devices Large Storage Space Data storage devices make it possible to store a lot of data. Easy Transfer of Data the data stored in these devices can be transferred easily from one computer to another. Easy to change data. It is possible to change, modify or delete data saved in most storage devices. Tectionary Computer memory Computer uses its memory to store the results. This memory is of two types, primary memory and secondary memory. Bit it is a binary digit, either a 0 or 1. RAM Random access memory is a read or write memory. It is a volatile or temporary memory. ROM Read-only memory is a non-volatile or permanent memory. CD-ROM Compact disk read-only memory. 
डीवीडी डिजिटल वीडियो डिस्क और डिजिटल वर्सेटाइल डिस्क पोर्ट अ पॉइंट ऑफ कनेक्शन बिटवीन द कंप्यूटर एंड इट्स पेरिफेरल डिवाइसेस लेट्स रिफ्रेश द कंप्यूटर्स मेमोरी इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स प्राइमरी मेमोरी एंड सेकेंडरी मेमोरी primary memory is a built-in memory designed to store data and instructions primary memory is of two types ram and rom secondary memory devices are data storage devices used in the computer to store data hard disks cd's dvd's blu-ray discs usb drives and memory cards are examples of secondary data storage devices